All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to begin our next section. And in this section, we're going to be talking about geometry and measurement. So we're going to be talking about units of measurements, different types of measurements. We're also going to be talking about the, about in the geometry section, we're going to be looking at different measurements for different shapes. Remember, geometry is simply the, the study of shapes. So we're going to look at lots of different shapes and their properties. Okay, And we're going to be looking at today at specific measure, measurement of length. And we're going to talk about units of length and how to convert back to back and forth between different units and how to choose the appropriate unit for length. Okay? Now, clearly, within New Zealand, we use the metric system for length. Can, does anybody remember what the basic unit for length is? Yes. Oh, be, be, meters. There you go. The basic unit for length. These are your notes. Is the meter. Okay? Two different spellings depending on where you're from. All right, either one, don't care. Now, so we have our basic unit for length is the meter. Does anybody know how long a meter is? Can you show me, your, everybody kind of show me? Think is that long? Maybe that's a little shorter. Ooh, what are you doing over there with that? Um, me. Okay, well, maybe with you, it's <laughs> two arms, okay. Yeah, but what are you doing right there with that one arm business? That's, a, that's about a meter, if, you, if you're, but depending on it, except obviously it's different, right? So, okay, so we got a, we've got an idea of what a meter is, yeah? Let's see how accurate you were. Here you no. go. Yeah. No. That's a meter, let's see. Oh, so there you go. So, okay. Go. Exactly. So, so it's important to know what the basic unit is because in the metric system, the other units that you use, either for bigger measurements or for smaller measurements, are based on this one unit, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to look, be looking at some different measurements, the most common measurements. Now we're not look, talking about every measurement in the, music, in, the, in the metric system, but some basic common units that we're going to use. So we're gonna go to the book and we're gonna look at these and then we're gonna look at how to convert them. And you're gonna convert them by either making them bigger or smaller, okay? Now, if you make something bigger, what mathematical operation do you think you're going to use to make something bigger? To make something bigger, you would make it bigger by the... Th well, well, with units, you're exactly right. So it's, gonna, it's a little odd. But, so if you're going to make a number bigger, you're multiplying. If you make a number smaller, you're dividing. But we're gonna be, you're going to be seeing that it looks a little counterintuitive when you're talking about the measurements. Okay? Now, so before we go to those, I just want to give you a little, a little visual. Little, so, picture in your mind one of those big bags of fruit chews. Of what? Fruit chews? You know those fruit chews, those little fruity candies? Yeah, you know that. Oh, a big bag, right? So you've got one bag, yeah? Mm -hmm. But it contains a lot of smaller pieces in, the, in, in it, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay? So if I open the bag and I spread them out, that one big thing has turned into a lot of small things. Yes? It doesn't matter. Picture whatever bag you want to, candy you want to, okay? Now, so, all right. So think about what happened here. We took a big unit and we broke it into a bunch of little pieces. Yeah? But didn't that one bag contain all those small pieces? Yeah? So what's, what you're going to see is, think, so you can always think about that when you're converting back and forth. Am I making it into a bunch of smaller pieces, or am I gathering the small pieces into a bigger unit? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay? Because when you're looking at how to, how to do this, either divide or multiply, sometimes it looks a little counterintuitive based on what we know about our math. Okay? So what we're going to do is go to the book. Okay, so here we are in our book, oh, on page 229, 
So again, the meter is the basic unit for length in the metric system. So if you're going to be measuring, you're always going to be measuring based on length. But we don't always need a full meter because we saw how big a meter is. So if I was going to measure the length of this pencil, for example, would I want to measure that in meters? No, no that, would be, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? So what we do is we use prefixes. Pre means goes in where? Pre means goes in front. Prefixes. No, no that's a suffix. So prefix goes in the front. So we have to use a prefix to be able to show whether something is smaller or bigger. Now, they go a little, tell you a little bit about it, but here are some, uh, some, common, some common prefixes. Kilo, you've heard of kilometer before, right? If you're driving, you usually see the next town is so many kilometers away. Well, a kilo means 1,000. So a kilometer is 1,000 meters. So a very big unit. So they would be used for measuring distances or the height of very tall buildings, something like that. Well, probably not kilometers, but anyway, but for very long distances, yeah? Centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. So it's smaller than a meter, right? So think about a centimeter and they give you a little example there. The width of your fingernail, that's about a centimeter, okay? So it's a much smaller unit than the meter, okay? And then you can go even smaller than that. You can have a millimeter, that's one, one thousandth of a meter, which is the, about the, which is the width of a, of a coin. If you see the side of a coin, how thick they are, that's about a millimeter. Is it like the same coin or dollar coin? Because dollar coins are usually... They're about the same, not, not, the, not, a, not across them, but the, if you turn it on its side and look at the thin, thin yeah, side. Right. And they're, not, they're about a millimeter, okay? All right, so, shh, guys, so we can use multiplication and division to convert back and forth between units. Now, I'm going to tell you that some of these units are so critical that you're just going to have to memorize this table and memorize how to do it. Now, then I'm also going to show you a secondary method where you're just going to jump between units, and I'll show you, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So uh, you need to be, uh, not this whole thing, but hold on. So here we go. Here are some of the most common units and what they mean. So looking at the abbreviations, what do you think M means? Meter, KM, CM, and MM. So those are your four most common units of length. And so these are the ones that I indefinitely want you to memorize how you get from one to the other. But if you'll think about those things we were looking at and think about the, uh, this little conversion chart, it's really easy. A kilometer, kilo, means 1,000, right? So that means that you're getting bigger. You have 1,000 meters, so that's a very big measurement. So you'll notice to go from, one, to go from meters, from, from kilometers to meters, you're, gonna, you're multiplying by 1,000, okay? This is your multiplier. So, Meters and centimeters. Anybody ever heard the expression, the prefix centi? Centi, centi means what? Centi. Yeah, it's one one hundredth. So centi is one hundred, but it's smaller than a meter, so it's one over one hundred. Okay, milli, milli. What does milli mean? Do you remember? Well, milli as a number always means one thousand. Okay, so. Kilo is 1,000. Oops. Centi is 1 over 100 because it's smaller by 100. Okay. And milli is 1 over 1,000. Millimeter. Milli. Yeah. <laughs> well, you ought to remember that one, that one very easily then. Okay? So... By thinking about these, that means we can convert back and forth very easily. But you gotta go back to that bag of candy idea. Okay? When I opened the, the one big bag, it turned into many, many pieces. So the number of items that I had got bigger 
But the pieces, as the pieces got smaller, does that make sense? So you have one big bag, that's one. But you open it up and you might have 100 pieces, right? So if you, you t- change that big thing into more and more smaller pieces. So it may surprise you that to convert from kilometers to meters, you're going to multiply by 1,000. Because if you think about it, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. You're getting more and more smaller units, right? If you cut it up into smaller and smaller pieces, you're getting more and more pieces. To go from millimeter to centimeter, I'm gonna multiply by 100, right? And you go from centimeter to millimeter, you're gonna multiply by 10. So you're multiplying as you go because you're gonna get more pieces as they get smaller. Think about it. If I cut this pencil into two pieces, that's more pieces than the one big piece, isn't it? I have two smaller pieces. Then if I cut it more, I would have more smaller pieces and more smaller pieces, okay? So it's, it's a little counterintuitive sometimes. Now, and then when you're going backwards, you're gonna do just the opposite, and the opposite of, of multiply is divide, okay? So you've gotta be careful. It seems counterintuitive. If you think about a kilometer, that's a big thing. You would think, oh, I need to multiply to get to kilometer, but you don't. You need to do what? Divide, okay? Now, I want you to think about these. We're gonna make sure that we, me- we for sure mel- uh, memorize these conversions. But now what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you a full chart and show you another process and show you why and where these numbers are actually coming from, okay? So hold on just one moment. So in the basic metric system, you have your base unit. Now, I'm writing base unit instead of meters here because it could be we were measure, we'd be measuring mass or volume. And those have different units, right? But we're measuring length now, so the base unit we're going to be talking about are, what's the base minute unit for measurement, for length? Meters, exactly. As you go smaller, you get deci, then you get centi, and then you get milli. And that's about as small as you're ever gonna measure something in millimeters, because that's a very, very small unit, okay? As you go the other way and get bigger, you have something called deca, then you have hecto, and then finally, you have kilo. Now, most of these units you're very familiar with. The only ones that might be a little odd to you are probably those. And the reason is we usually concentrate on these as these units as the most common ones. But if you memorize this chart and think about each one, then you can easily convert from one to the other without having to do any math. And it also provides a little bit of a visual for, of aid for those of you who need it. So. Think about this. To convert, you're simply going to move, move, move the decimal. All right? So let's say that I have 10 meters. And I want to change that into some number of Millimeters. Now I know that there's a there's a there's already a because milli is a thousand, so I could multiply by one thousand to find it. But watch this: meters would be here. That's our base unit, yes. And to get to millimeters, I have to go how many places? Three places to the what? Left, right. To your other left, yeah. Two places to the right. So right now I have the number 10. Where's the decimal in in a 10? At the start. At the end, end. yes. So I'm simply gonna move that decimal three places to the right, which means I need to put in a bunch of zeros. 
So that means I have 10,000 milliliters, millimeters. Okay? There's always a decimal in every number. If you don't see it, where is it? It's at the end, which means you don't have to write it because it's at the end. Okay? All right. Now, what if I wanted to change that same 10 millimeter, I'm sorry, 10 meters to kilo? Where's kilo? Three there, that way. So where is it? It started here, so it's going to move three over. Now it's in front of the number. So do I have to write it if it's in front of the number? Yes. So that would be 0 0.01 kilometers. Okay. No, it, and I didn't write it, right? Because it's at the end, after, after di your last non-zero digit, after a decimal, you don't need it. We've done decimals, right? You wouldn't write 0 0.200000. These zeros don't make any sense after the two because they're on that side of the decimal. Well, good. You're going to get decimals and metric system all in, all in one. Okay? So you can convert by simply, measure, by simply jumping and moving the decimal that many places. Now, think about it. We already talked about how to change from meters to kilometers. We were gonna divide by 1,000. Well, if you take 10 and divide it by 1,000, put that in your calculator and tell me what you get. 0, 0.0 something is not good enough. which is exactly what I got by just moving the decimal. What I said, but not the ones. You said something. Something's not a number. Okay? So you have two options, but visualizing it a little helps it with some students make sure they use the right thing. If you're going this way, then the number part is going to get smaller because the decimal is moving left, which makes it smaller. Right? If you're going the other way, the number is going to get bigger, even though the units get smaller. Okay? So we have lots of different ways of accomplishing this. Now, yes. Okay? So I don't care if you do it visually by moving the decimal, or if you do it using multiplication or division, it makes no difference to me, but you need to learn how to convert between units. All right? So that's what we're going to be doing today. And we're gonna, so we're gonna, we've talked about two different things. First, we talked about using appropriate units. Would I measure this computer mouse in, what do you think? Centimeters. Centimeters, yeah, okay. Would I measure the, how thick this is in what kind of units? Millimeters. millimeters, right? This is not even a centimeter wide, is it? It's less than that, okay. Would I measure the length of this in? Meters. Well, duh, yeah, okay. If I was gonna measure the length of the room, I might use? Meters. If I was going to measure the distance between here and Auckland, I would use kilometers. kilometers. So you see, the met we're going to do some activities where you're going to have to choose the right, the choose the right um, unit of measurement. Okay. And we're then going to also convert back and forth. Now, again, I don't, I don't care whether you use multiplication and division, or you learn how to learn this table and you can bounce back and forth. It makes no difference to me. You know what kind of learner you are. If you're a visual learner, here's a visual aid. Otherwise, you can use whatever you'd like. All right, so let's go to our book and get our assignment started.